Pay yourself first is a financial principle that many people have heard at some point. In this video, we are going to explain it. Your current savings method probably looks like this. Income. 1. Fixed expenses, rent, taxes, insurance, supplies and food. 2. Variable expenses, clothing, entertainment, fun, travel and non-essential expenses. 3. Savings, emergency fund, investments and retirement savings. Do you see where the problem is? If you put saving as the last priority and only set aside what's left at the end of the month, you'll likely end up with little or nothing saved. Saving in a sporadic and disorganized way is not effective, the important thing is to do it in a planned and systematic way. In fact, you should do it the opposite of what you are used to, before paying others, pay yourself first. Your objectives and goals should be a priority over unnecessary expenses. The order of yours should be as follows. 1. Fixed expenses, rent, taxes, insurance, supplies and food. 2. Savings, emergency fund, investments and retirement savings. 3. Variable expenses, clothing, entertainment, fun, travel and non-essential expenses. The concept of pay yourself first which many people mistakenly attribute to Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki, first appears in the book The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klassen. If we expect different results, we must be willing to change our behavioral patterns. So it's time to act, from now on, set a minimum monthly savings amount that you can maintain each month without excuses. 1. Determine the mandatory fixed expenses, rent or mortgage, utility bills, food, etc. It also includes non-monthly expenses, such as annual insurance. 2. Set your savings goal, either a fixed amount or a percentage of your income, if these vary. 3. Set up a regular, automatic transfer to a high-yield account designated for your savings. This way, you will automate your savings. You will have your finances on autopilot, saving effortlessly and without the need to remember to do something special every month, adjusting your lifestyle to what you can really afford. If you don't want to use bank accounts, you can do the same thing using two physical containers, one for expenses and one for savings. One way to speed up the savings process is to channel irregular income, such as extra bonuses or tax refunds, directly into an additional contribution to the entire savings. Of the amount you allocate to savings, it is possible to redistribute it to several accounts for specific objectives, this will depend on your goals. As an example, allocate 30% to increase your emergency fund, keeping it in an account with high remuneration, no commissions and total availability. Allocate another 30% for short and medium term goals, using time deposits or fixed income products. Set aside 40% for long-term savings, which could be invested in a low-fee fund or ETF linked to an index. As you manage to reduce your fixed expenses, you can gradually increase the monthly amount allocated to savings. However, it is crucial to avoid running out of funds in your account or leaving unpaid bills, as this could result in additional charges. Achieving this goal requires organization, discipline, responsibility and solid financial planning. For many people, thinking about setting aside a monthly amount for savings when they are barely making ends meet may sound unrealistic. Remember that saving is primarily a choice, and making choices involves choosing one thing over others. Throughout this book, you will find numerous tips for reducing your expenses, but in some cases, this means giving up certain habits or ingrained comforts. The decision to take that step forward can only be made by you. There will be people who can only allocate 5% of their income to savings, while others can easily dedicate 50%. In the beginning, what is really important is not the amount itself, but cultivating the habit of saving, establishing your mental priorities and assuming your financial responsibility. Do not save what you have left after spending, spend what you have left after saving. 
In this way, we reach the end of the video. I encourage you to give a thumbs up to support our project and subscribe. What do you think about the pay yourself first thing? Did you know this method? We would love to read your comments. Thank you very much for watching the video, see you in the next installment.